giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We're in the top 10 for week four. <laughs> to, 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 to 2019 FRC top 25. And in the 10th spot is team number 1241. From Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and Rick Hansen Secondary School, it's Theory 6. They have an overall record of 14-4, and four, and they were the finalists this past weekend at the Waterloo District event. So Theory 6 is a is personally a team that I always look forward to seeing um, um, debut their robot each year at their event. Um, they had a strong outing in, in qualification matches. They finished with a uh, they finished third with a 2.33 ranking score average. They had two unicorn matches, one with the number one seed, 2056. Uh, but unfortunately for them, number one pick number two in 1241 would captain that second alliance and would meet number the number one in, in the finals. And they did put up a great fight, um, not letting that alliance score over 100 points, um, but they fell short and would take home the silver. Um, wasn't able to watch really at all this weekend, so I can't comment on the robot too much, but we'll see them again. And the matches weren't up on TBA, but we'll see them again um, at the McMaster event coming up. Well, they'll they'll play with 2056 again. So as, as we kind of just said, and I wrote here as a note, I just really love like the friendly competition that Ontario has amongst its teams. Mm -hmm. They love the competition. They thrive on it, but they also like love each other, you know, like it's just a really unique environment. And that's, um, you know, kind of what we just talked about with new England and, and with Texas and stuff. It's, uh, but, um, the Ontario, the Ontario region definitely is um, something special. It's really been, it's really been a blast being able to be up there for, and, and just seeing, for seeing some of that. Um, not recently, but in the past few years that Justin and I were able to go up, but, um, so congratulations to 1241. Good luck going forward. And, uh, might see 2056, 1241 hook up, um, there at the uh, McMaster event, but I guess we'll just have to see, but congrats. All right, so moving on to our ninth-ranked team. Um, I believe Christina is going to tell us about team number 195. From Southington, as Mike would probably say it, Connecticut no. or Southington, oh, as everybody else would say. <laughs> <laughs> and Southington High School, it's the Cyber Knights. Um, with an overall record so far, 30-8, and eight, they kicked off their district performance this past weekend with a win at the Western Massachusetts District. So they started their season off pretty good at the Central New York Regional, um, punching their ticket to the Detroit District Championship, and they kept the momentum going this past weekend, seeding third after their qualification matches and partnering partnering with fellow Connecticuters 176 and then 6328. Um, they dialed in their level three climb at this event for sure. They did it seven times in quals and six during the playoffs, which is a lot um, more consistent than they had done at the Central New York Regional. Um, they countered heavy defense in the playoffs with their epic turret. Um, you'd see a lot of, you know, people trying to just slam into them. And the awesome little turret was like, boop, don't care. All I have to do <laughs> is like pull up somewhat near the, you know, scoring area and they're in. So I was really excited to see that. They scooped up another banner and took home the creativity award. Um, be sure to check out their behind the bumper session at some point. I was lucky enough to get up close and talk to their students um, about their robot um their epic robot night owl um and keep an eye out during their weeks week six appearance at the harford district and they'll definitely be locking in a spot at the new england district championship before heading out to detroit um i wasn't able to watch a lot of the western new england or western massachusetts district event um but i was able to kind of catch their last few finals matches and they were looking pretty good nice yeah, you know, a lot of people were talking about 195. Oh, you know, they're they're not that good this year. Stuff, guys. Just because they're not performing at the level they were at championships last year does not mean they're not a good team. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't understand that at all. Uh, you know, did, did 195 have some difficulties? Yes, I, I think we can agree on that. That you know, in the quals and stuff, there were some. But I mean, 195 is definitely getting back up to the game, looking really good. Uh, I had them a little bit lower in my personal list. Once again, I don't vote. Uh, but uh, in my personal list, I had them a little bit lower. Still, I had them in the top 25. I think they're a great team. Uh, and their performance, I think, is just getting better and better. And uh, are they going to be a top team at Detroit? Absolutely. I think, you know, I mean, they got to get there first, of course. But uh, assuming that they do, uh, they're going to be absolutely incredible, in my opinion. So uh, New England champs, I, you know, there's so many good New England teams this year. There really are. Uh, but 195 looking to be um, right at the top, if not darn near. Cool. And you, uh, you did a behind the bumpers with them, Christine. Yep. Is that coming um, out soon? I just shared yes. it with Tyler a little while ago. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Should perfect. be out this next cool. week, I believe. Dude, yep. we're, there are so many behind the bumpers. So if you guys have not checked them out on YouTube, just check us out YouTube. 
first updates now. There's a ton of behind the bumpers up, and it's really cool to see. Yeah, even, a lot, of the, even a lot of the old ones are just awesome to watch, too. If you just want some ideas or look at old robots, even the old ones are really cool to watch. Yeah. I'm going to push out evergreen content there, Justin. Appreciate it. <laughs> I got you, dude. I got you. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to keep moving along here in the top 10, and we're going to pause at 8 and talk about 3.30. From Hermosa Beach, California, and the community – it's the beach bots with an overall record of 32 and one. They were the records 30, two losses, one tie. They were the winners of the Los Angeles regional. So kind of stole this from their Facebook post, but so the, as we know, their last season, and, you know, it is really um, only fitting that the beach bots took home the win at the Los Angeles regional where it started for them in 2001. Again, credit their Facebook post. So they kind of like a one and a half hatch panel, a sandstorm, just fly around the field with their classic blue and yellow powder coated robot, a robot that just goes out and plays so consistently and so well for this game. Um, Blue line shows four finals matches that post said that they had five. So I don't know if they had like a, a mm. fog, a foghorn match maybe. Um, but and they also had a tie in there as well. So I don't know where the fifth match came from, but um, just a, a crazy wild ride to end the regular competition season. Um, so they'll head into Houston looking to kind of just finish it all, and hopefully they can uh, <clears throat> really go out on top. That'd be something special for them. So um, they also had a Woody Flowers finalist award for Shane Paul Mirano um, this past weekend as well. So, so it's just sad, you know, it's, it's just kind of an end of an era and, and three thirty uh, when, you know, Justin and I were on three forty um, at championship and stuff, our, our pits would always be close and um, just uh, always a great team. And um, I think Joe, right. Joe Ross, is that his name? Um, was that, you know, always there and would always come up and say hi and stuff. So end of an era for three thirty, but uh, really glad to see them get that win at the Los Angeles regional. I think it was just really kind of probably sentimental for them uh, going forward, but yeah, congrats to them. I just want to give an extra a big shout out to Shane as well too for his Woody Flowers Award. Uh, well yeah. deserved for an amazing commitment you've had to such a legendary team for such a long time. So uh, very cool. And by the way, Mike, uh, Sal Kuth posted in chat that TBA doesn't show matches that were replayed, so there must have been a replay then. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for that. So, yeah, he didn't say there directly was a replay, but I'm just going to infer that there was. Nice. Yep. Oh, a replay. I wonder why. Cool. All right. So that was our eighth-ranked team and with 330. Our seventh-ranked team is going to be 973. From Atascadero, California, Atascadero High School, it's the Gray Bots, 26, 5-1 and one overall, and we're the winners of the Orange County Regional. So after starting their season with a win in Orange County, 973 traveled to the Sacramento Regional, and it was a battle to the top between 1678, 1323, and 973. Each of the th three teams played great, but when the dust settled, it was 1678 and 1323 teaming up where they would meet 973 in the finals. It was two great matches uh, and a finalist performance and another medal for Team 973, but another great robot from the Gray Bots, and they'll be looking to make another run to Einstein in Houston. So good luck, Team 973, the Gray Bots. So yeah, it was just uh, it was fun to watch. I wasn't quite sure how the dust was going to settle there mm -hmm. um, at that event. Two, you know, three teams battling it out, um, but there were great matches um, beginning and end. It was nice to have three really good teams uh, to kind of track throughout the event because you got to see one of them play. Um, you know, every so often there. So yeah. it was, uh, it was, it was really cool. Um, very similar to like Waterloo this, this week, right? Yeah. Where yeah. One, one picks two and then the third team just kind of gets, you know, left out. Uh, 973, something to note, uh, this guy mentioned on the region recap show is that they picked up uh, team uh, 1072 as the second pick in the entire draft and they were ranked 24. Uh, so kind of, kind of interesting to see, see that clearly they did uh, their scouting very well. Uh, to pick out a team that was ranked uh, as low as they were uh, with, uh, I think, a record of 5-5 five and five or something like that uh, in the qual matches. So um, kudos to 973 for some good research and getting uh, good alliance partners. Uh, tough to overcome the 1323-1678 alliance, but uh, still 973, I think, looking very good this year. Yeah. Nice. All right, we're going to keep it moving. Uh, in the sixth spot, we have Team 2910. Uh, this is a crowd favorite from Mill Creek, Washington, Henry M. Jackson High School. It's Jack and the Bot, 50 and 5 overall. And they were the winners of the Mount Vernon District and um, Sundome District events in the Pacific Northwest and the Glacier Peak. I think I messed it up. And Glacier Peak District events. So three Pacific Northwest District wins. So three number one seeds, three district wins. You know, what's left to say about Jack and yeah. the Bot? They just. Lights out, man. They maneuver the field with ease. Um, they just dominate that ground game. I mean, just look at them go. Um, 
they have what it takes to come out after qualification matches, and then they're just set up perfectly, um, you know, to to pick that that team out there. You know, obviously when you're number one, you pick whoever, but um, they're just really poised to kind of just take that number one seed at their division at championship. But before they get there, they'll still they still have, they still will be competing in the Pacific Northwest District Championship. Um, guys, what do you have to say about Jack in the Bot? I mean, it's just I don't know, like. I mean, obviously the hype is 100% justified, but I don't know mm-hmm. if it's because of the just because they play ground game. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's that much more. Um, but I'm just curious to see what your guys' thoughts were on them. So for I just, me, go ahead. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Chris, go ahead. Go. I just like I'm <laughs> Every- blown away watching them like maneuver yeah. the field. Like that is just like yeah. solid ass confidence. Like. Mm-hmm moving around the field, getting to the, you know, cargo ship or the rocket ship. Like there's not many teams out there like that right now that are able to no. just, I mean, besides 1323, like they are just, they're killing it. Yeah. <laughs> they're, just, they're avoiding whatever's like in the middle of the field right there. <laughs> they're just like, I oh, will go around it. It's like a guard <laughs> just broke off the cargo ship or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Or like somebody's like battery protector or something. But yeah, I mean, it's just, go ahead, Justin. I don't know what you're going to say. It's just really impressive. I think, you know, a lot of teams, when they strategized for this game, they noticed the tremendous scoring opportunities that are available uh, if you don't have an elevator, right? You're only limited um, away from the second and third level of the rocket. And I think a lot of teams saw that and were like, hey, we can we can do this. You know, we can be competitive with a low bot. Um, but they just they did it the best in the world. So I think that deserves um, a lot of credit. And I'm glad that the FC community is also recognizing that um, with how high they're ranked and they ha- you have to have the most wins in FRC right now, or at least close to it. 50 wins. That's absurd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I love 20, I love 2910. I think there are lots of amazing. We're actually going to have them on, I think next week uh, for FRC deep dive, where we're going to be showing off some of their inner workings of their robot. So Sweet. very exciting uh, little preview there. However, I will say uh, I do Almost in no scenario do I see them ranking number one at championship still. I think I mentioned this before, but uh, with the not ability to complete a rocket by themselves or reliant on alliance partners to get a four RP match, uh, and I just don't see that happening at championships. I don't. I, are they going to be a fantastic first pick? Absolutely. Are they going to see number one at championships? Uh, doubtful. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it, it's just you know even I'd be even curious at, at PNW district champs. There's a lot of great PNW teams that if 2910 doesn't get the right schedule and they don't get people that can complete a rocket with them, they very well might not be the number one seed uh, at PNW champs. Um, like I said, is their game amazing? Yes. Are they the best level one ground scoring bot there is? Probably. Uh, maybe next to 1323 or something like that. But that uh, inability to not score in level two, level three of the rocket, I think is really going to hinder their qualification seeding ranks. That Once again, would I pick them up as a first pick? Absolutely. And I think they'll be on any number one alliance out there. But Alliance Captain, I just don't see that happening. Mm, that's true. I guess I, I didn't really think about that. Uh, but you make a great point. I think I agree with you. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to watch. They might disagree with you. I, I don't know. It'll, yeah, be, uh, maybe. it'll be interesting to see what happens. You're right. I think it, it might it might fall in the hands of the schedule for that because you're right. But <clears throat> I guess we'll see. Sky right, says 2910 could get a division that's missing the good rocket bots. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. That's not, I mean, the, the ifs and hopes of that you're not going to be with teams that can't complete a rocket by themselves at championship seems to be a, uh, a hope I would not plan for. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.